right before that first bell, you know, go ding, what's going on through your head? Are you angry or are you just going over the game plan? Like, what's going through your head right before that bell rings, you know what I mean, when you're about to uh, start fighting your opponent? Well, you know, everything that comes before before that moment, the ring walk, me getting announced, all of that, that's when the nerves really kick in. Yeah. That's when everything starts kicking in. That's when you start asking yourself questions. What if, you know, and, and I think the main thing is, what if I get knocked out in front of all these people? Because you, you, you're walking into an arena full of people and there's just a lot of questions coming into your mind. Sure. But then that, that, that's when you start, and that's why I like to work hard. That's why I implement this in my training camp because in that moment, that's when I'm like, that's when I start reminding myself of everything I did. And I start asking myself that question, is there anything I could have done better? Is there anything I could have, you know, maybe ran more? Maybe done? And I answer all those questions, you know, no, I did everything I could. I did everything I could. So me, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable being there. You know, I start, and, I, and I'm just reminding myself, you know, and uh, I'm just talking to myself, why should he beat me? When I worked hard, why should he beat me when I stayed that extra hour in the gym? Sure. Why should he beat me when, you know, I was tasting blood while I was running and I was still trying to give more, you yeah. know, so why should this guy beat me, you know, and I'm just reminding myself all that. So that, that's all going through my mind. And as soon as that bell rings, I make sure he feels everything that I was, that I, that I, that I was just thinking, everything that I put myself through. For sure. Um, now, now we've seen Benavidez do it last year. You got any plans to have like a homecoming fight? Um, is that something that's being talked about possibly for you? I see a smile on your face. So. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's something actually that, that, that uh, Louis de Cuba talked to me about after my last fight. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, I'm excited, man. I, I hope I hope everything goes as planned and that we're able to do a fight here in, in Arizona. That would be huge. That would be a dream come true. And uh, we'll see, though. You know, we'll see uh, if, if the time's right, it's going to come. If not, you know, we're going to keep looking for it in the future. But that's that's something that, that I want to do for sure. For sure. Now, now, what you think is the most underrated part about your fight game? I think a lot of people feel like I'm just a brawler, man. A lot of people feel like I can. Just, I just go forward. But I'm I'm a great I'm a great boxer. You know, I, yeah. I'm I'm really smart. I feel like I, I do a lot of things in there that that goes unnoticed. You know, a lot, I, I set up a lot of traps that most people don't see that or or, or, they, or, or they just simply don't catch. And um, I feel like that's underrated of me, you know. And yeah. at the same time, it, it, I, don't, I don't mind it. You know, people just think I'm, I'm, a, I'm a come forward fighter. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I think that's when, when, when they get in the ring, that's the surprise they, they get, you know, that I actually yeah. set stuff up. I use my feints. And uh, I think I've I've showed more of that in sparring, you know, because I've had to because of the level of opposition that I faced in sparring. It's yeah. always a lot a lot tougher than than my fights. 